But just know, Zebo is where it's at. Yes, sir. Welcome back to the Last Minute Podcast, the most consistent podcast in the Carolinas. Hey, On the right, I got Big Tina. Across the table, I got Zebo G. What's happening? And today, we guestless. We back. <laughs> we riding. We alive. We going fed. It's us again. We alive. We back. It ain't like y'all ain't seen us. Facts. Every week for the Facts. past year, but... Facts. I feel like I've seen y'all the like. This is the most I've seen y'all in a long time. Like, I feel like week so wise, because I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, like I thought like I just saw you. We did. You did. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. It just seems like I've been like seeing you like all the time. Uh-huh. Instead of just like once a week or like twice a week. Yeah, I, don't I, I see you. All you don't never feel like that because like we'll have weeks where like we we don't really like click. besides pod. Yeah, yeah. Like but we don't like, really link up. We went don't, to the stew. Yeah, the pod. Then we did the review, and then yeah, it's like here we are again. It's not a bad thing. It's just like, like I've seen y'all a lot this week. Yeah, <laughs> compared to last seen, week, I've I seen y'all. y'all. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It thing. was just something I like. Not for you. Notice. But what's up? Good day. <laughs> good day. Good day. Good day. Yes, good, day. Good, day. good day. Good day. Good day. Good day. Good day. He's on three. He's being made ass. Good day. Hey man. Ooh ooh ooh. Ah. You just you just, you just knock on wood for, <laughs> for my boy Henry. Next Tuesday ain't looking good. <laughs> <laughs> Knock on wood. I'm going to be careful next Tuesday. Yeah, next Tuesday ain't looking good. What's the date? What's next Tuesday's date? What's the date's date? Probably the end of the month. 24th. 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 Mm. Yeah, quick with it. Good day? Better watch. Yeah, I had a... Um, mm. <laughs> I, the last two days, I've been having to get up at like four to get to work at like six to do... Oh, you back on work work time. Mm. No, 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 no. I, my regular schedule is um eight to five, but... We've I've been doing crisis work. Uh, had a client that was a crisis, and crisis management. Yeah, like dead ass. Uh, I guess. Um, and having to do that these last two days. It, ain't, it, ain't. it just ain't <laughs> it. It's not there. It's it's dope because I'm getting all this experience, but who is it whooping my ass? Mm. Getting up there early is rough. It is, especially when you don't do it. Yeah, like I used, used to be to going it. to bed at that time. Yeah, facts. Um, so yeah, like but other than ago. you know, so <laughs> and then after that, I had training, but that mm. was also cool because it was more, you know, more hands on. I, I feel more confident in my position. Um, so I'm excited to work my class, but yeah, yeah, these last two days with my ass, but but they've been good, it's all good, and you alive, and, and amen, amen, right. amen. Breathing. you alive. Um, I feel like that was work, very drawn out. Work. <laughs> <laughs> Not you go ahead and say it before. It was a good day at work, yeah. though. Oh, okay, good. Good day at work. That's good. good. That, that's good, too, they though. Let, they let you get off kind of, no, not early, but, no. like, did you get off to, like... No. Oh, I'm, I'm right. Uh, well, five, I be five, trying to... Five o'clock. I be trying to find the, just yeah. that little spark. Well, I guess five o'clock is kind of early. Normally, I get off like, 5.30, six. Okay, then. Hey, that, so... I did it. But I'm supposed to get off at five. <laughs> well, just don't now you good. actually got off at five. There we yeah, go. There we go. Shout How out. many times have you gotten off at five since you've been at your job? Oh, I could count them. All yeah, right. I want to know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Probably like, if you probably say, like 15, 20. Okay. okay. How long you been there? Yeah. Two years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you work every day except weekends and PTO days. Yeah. So and I work weekends sometimes. We got a Saturday rotation. You mean to tell me I can't get off at my day <laughs> time? Less than 20 times. Yeah, that's great. In the two years I've been there? That might be cap. Might be like 40, 50. Nice. It's not bad, though. When I'm not Less than 100. Off, when I'm not getting off at 5, I'm getting off like 5.30. Okay, that's worse. Because I'd be like, no, I was supposed to get off at this time. No, Which... I really got to fool my job if I don't care what time I get off. Cause that's Facts. salary, you know what I'm saying. So it's yeah. not like you getting paid extra for that. Yeah, yeah. What y'all listening uh, to this past ooh, week? That Kendrick. Yeah, yeah. The big steppers. I have to say Kendrick, Mr. Morale, Larry June, for me. <laughs> still, Larry June for me still, and um, it is summertime. Kodak Black. Larry June made good summertime music. Let me Larry see. Kodak and Kendrick. You know we was talking about Kodak on the uh, on the pod or mm-hmm. the during review. the conversation. Yeah. I went back. Uh, I started going back. Started running that. Yeah. Oh, Kodak, that little big pot. Yeah. That yeah. Oh, yeah. Hard. That take was hard. That Yo, project Prodigy, was hard. Oh my god. Yeah. That's that project shit. was hard. Um, but yeah, song. if uh, speaking of Kendrick, if you have not yet, go listen to the um, 
Go listen or watch the uh, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers a conversation uh, album review on Zebo TV and all streaming platforms. Uh, we just review track by track the yep. latest album. So go check it out. Yep, with the homie Roshan. See, si. shout out Roshan. Yes. Yes, I wish um, Roshan. He's like the honorary fourth member at this point now. Him and Cook. <laughs> <laughs> but I've got been a lot listening. of honorary fourth members. <laughs> him and Cook the most. Because we, yeah. we, we got like a backup guest. And then we got honorary fourth members. <laughs> we all know who the backup guest is. Yes. Motherfucker <laughs> 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 live here. <laughs> right. But Go ahead, Zane. I was just going to say, I've been listening to Kendrick. Uh, surround Sound by Jid. The okay. Now by Beyonce and Kendrick Lamar. Those have just been in like a deep rotation. Oh. Mm. Where did I go? I also been going back to uh, not going back because I've been I'm still listening to Vince Staples, still oh, listening yeah. to YNG Apollo. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Facts, shout facts, out AP, facts, facts, facts. Mind of a Center, Mind of a Center out now. Facts. Still listening to Love Me Nights, nice, of course. Facts. Shout out Sheree. I'm gonna talk about her like she ain't here. Facts. <laughs> she goat. Facts. Uh, yeah, a lot of music. I've been running through. I just been like running through shit. Yeah, this week, like kind of just scrolling through my Apple Music and whatever I see. I'm just like, oh yeah, let's run this. I ain't listening to this in a minute. You good? Because when so I long. say it's been on Kendrick, I'm weak. I'm trying to figure out these lyrics. <laughs> I <laughs> have been listening. To, I've been listening to Father Time on repeat. I was just about to say we need to um we need to have a discussion about going to see him in concert because the tickets are going to sell this weekend. The 19th, right? That's Thursday. Oh, not even this weekend. And <laughs> uh, shout out Seed. But yeah, yeah we need to. Uh, how, we don't know how much that costs, do we? Nope. Not a clue. Brothers. And we said we want to work. What do you mean? We're going we need to, to hit the ATL. Sure. <laughs> no, 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 ATL. no, 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 no. Seed no. wise. See, gonna be it's gonna be seat. us for seat the seat. Oh, seats. Oh. Yes. I mean, I don't care to be in the front. I ain't trying to be in the back. It's kind of like I think it would be easier if one person bought them all. That's normally what C does. Yeah, and then we cash after them. Like that way we as far as like where to sit, I don't really care as long as I'm just not. That way like, we all sit together and we got to worry yeah. about like oh, I bought a different ticket. I'm. I'm I would have aware. if I was you. I would have at least two hundred, at least more. Yeah, it's gonna be more. yeah, but like this ain't like a seventy dollar concert. Like, a, oh, no. I know it's not gonna be. Yeah. I know, I know. But I, I would assume about at least two, you know, three. That that range, if I if if it was if I have to assume. But shout out Kendrick, go play that and check out our feed. Yeah. Rap news. So we have, <laughs> um. NBA Youngboy reportedly won't re-sign with Atlantic Records and turn down $25 million. I don't blame him. I feel like he makes, makes that right more decision. on YouTube. I, I don't blame him. He's worth way more than that. Yeah. $25 million? That ain't shit. Everybody's saying his music is like triple that. Yeah. Yeah, on YouTube, right? Yeah. And streaming services. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. $25 million. You know what I really just thought about? What did you talk about? <laughs> That would have been my reaction. Oh, right. Like, 25 million? What the fuck are you talking about? Like, you know what you talking I about me? <laughs> <laughs> I thought about, because you know how the streams are so big on YouTube, and they're I, well, I won't say they're not like that on streaming services, but, you know, they go the extra mile on YouTube. Yeah. Kids can't pay for their streaming services. No. No. And I that's, don't know why that's where, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mom and dad ain't, if that mom and dad ain't buying it. NBA young boy for the kids, man. For yeah, because the that's the ones that be looking for. I don't know why that just clicked. Nah, like, yeah, that, like, I, be, I be looking. That went <laughs> over my head. But, but yeah. Yeah, because just like, they ain't got Spotify album music. What you really about to play it on? I mean, you got a SoundCloud, but SoundCloud ain't really. That tube. You better <laughs> run it up on the tube. <laughs> yeah, you're going to go to the tube. And you got a visual to watch with it, so that's what's up. Touche. Two by one's long. Um, but yeah, twenty five million not enough. No, no, the no. fuck out my face. No, right. yeah. Especially like after they be doing all the shit they be doing to him, like taking his music down and all that shit, bro. Fuck you. Get the fuck out my face. <laughs> right. Um, Beat King think Kendrick albums are dope, but don't have the best replay value. I go right back to Rico Charge music. Well then, <laughs> I was like, okay, <laughs> that's a, that's, Dude, that's a that was a crazy statement. airline. That's a funny statement though. Um, uh, what the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> 
Yeah, like I mean, if you're not the I can't even say average listener. I mean, if you're illiterate, yeah. <laughs> but like, if I feel like if you just because there are some people that do not want to hear conscious rap. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. but sure. I think with Kendrick he makes it interesting because he gives you these interesting beats. So it's like dang, because half of the time I be finding myself jigging and I gotta be like, damn, he is talking about oppression and, <laughs> and <laughs> getting your ass whooped and, and daddy issues. And I'll be over here jigging like that beat is crazy. It's like oh, but, so yeah. he probably I don't know if he's somebody that you know wants to hear conscious music. So like I don't think Kendrick uh, Kendrick is for like the uh, what's what's the word you can't have in a short I know exactly band. what you're about to say <laughs> is for the uh, goddamn what's the word I'm looking for it's not for the um like you talking about like the group of people it's for the average it's not for like an average music listener. Yeah, I'm not. It's not for I'm somebody not, that just listens to music when they're in the car. Yeah, I'm not it's expecting not Joey like, down the street to be playing a Kendrick Lamar and really dive into it. Yeah, that's crazy. That'd be the ones that dive into it. Nah, but Kendrick, <laughs> Kendrick's not for like a just a person that doesn't really care about music. He's kind of yeah. just like a you know somebody that just listens to music in passing, where like yeah. they don't really care about music. Like they're just kind of just you know if it's on, it's on. If it's not, it doesn't bother them. I didn't really think that like, was a, there's people a that thing. ride in the car in silence, which is I've actually done that. It's nice a couple times. I cannot do that. You either you real tired, you in deep thought, <coughs> or it's a beautiful day, and I don't need to hear nothing. Yeah, I've definitely nah. done that a couple times. It's from it's like Shaw King not one time. I did not play no. one song. Hell Ooh, no. that had to be a good ride. <laughs> Windows down and like nobody like cutting you off or nothing. That probably was a great ride. By nah. myself, I was just. I'm glad you had that. Gotta have something going. <laughs> Um, Freddie Gibbs got caught lacking in Buffalo, New York, after beefing with Benny, Benny the Butcher. He performs with a lumped up face. <laughs> um, oh. There is footage of him getting jumped. And uh, he was getting but you, fucking mobbed. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess about twenty people. I guess so. I mean, yeah, he didn't have a chance. It's not like he a bitch because he got jumped. Like, bro, and he yeah, like you got him. jumped. What do you? Expect? You can't fight Back twenty team. people. Like, I don't yeah. give a fuck who you is now. But I mean. The shit you be talking about, like, I would hope you had something on you that could easily fight 20 people. He a real one for showing up. Yeah, he a real one for not shooting somebody. Because somebody died out there. You know what? (laughs) Yeah, you got I'm popping. I'm popping somebody. Somebody I'm shooting to the crowd. Whoever get it, get it. Um, I mean, said, <laughs> uh, still a still a real one for showing up. People act like UFC fighters don't get beat up. Respect. Okay. Academics uh, was on a Freddie Gibbs roast. Yeah, he was. Bro. Somebody <laughs> said he still got his bag. What's um, their beef? He said Freddie Gibbs catches another case of the lumps. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> and oh, then no. he said, <laughs> um, <laughs> I can do it just stupid, but uh, someone said, thank God no guns were involved. Shit. True, true. Um, yeah, yeah facts. But yeah. Yeah, because one of them could have died and. We we say he like handsome no Squidward. Jeez. Please, do you have a picture of him? Yeah, he lumped up. It's, it's bad. He took a picture or somebody else took somebody a picture? Somebody took a picture of him on stage. Ooh. Yeah, he lumped up. Ooh. Yeah, yeah he got washed. <laughs> <laughs> it's rough. Ooh. I mean, he got jumped by 20 people. Though. What people think he was? Oh, they that's probably stomping like, him out. Somebody's going to be out there kicking people. Somebody said, that money going to make the pain go away. <laughs> <laughs> um, But yeah, uh, dang, Freddie. Plus, they talking, they talking like Benny, the one out there, like... Benny wasn't out there beating on him. No. That was a bunch of... That was the little homies. Yeah. Just... Hey, look, man. That's hey, look. Here's some money. Freddie gonna be there his 10 bands. Go jump that motherfucker. Bet. And they took his chain, right? Yeah. Um, Supposedly. But a lot of people saying that's... Um, well, Freddie Gibbs posted yeah, a video saying say that was... Somebody else. He gonna do it right now. Freddie said um, that was... Mm-hmm. That he still had his chain... I don't know what they're talking about, but everybody was pretty much like, bro. Did he get beat up by Jim Jones in the steakhouse? I think. I know that's I'm not 100% sure. I think so, though. Yeah, he going through it. Yeah. He do be talking crazy, though. Like, Yeah. And as of right now, they looking too good. Like, maybe you should stop talking crazy. You can't talk crazy and not whoop ass. Period. Um, well, he ain't stand a chance 20 people. He should have he killed somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep it bad. A I fan. see 20 people running at me maliciously. Somebody getting shot. Yeah. Five, Something five. wrong. <laughs> yeah. You better kill me. Um, because <laughs> if you don't, even if I do get jumped, when I get up, 
He better don't. run. Because the clip getting empty. Fan debating if he should get a future from Lil Tracy or go to community college. Um, Go to college. First, of all, it one more first time. of all, Tracy's not going to do nothing for your career. So. Um, a fan debates if he should get a feature from Lil Tracy or go to community college. Was, he puts on was. Instagram, I got a chance to get a Lil Tracy feature, but I don't know if I should do that or go to community college. And I was saying, boy, just get that degree. <laughs> yeah, I would go to college. Who is Lil Tracy? Do both. Do both. The money got to go to one. <laughs> My looks of it, you already made a choice. <laughs> Um, okay. Yeah, um, uh, yeah. Um, into a bigger kind of headline, uh Lil Key actually uh Lil Key passed away a couple days back. RIP. Um and as of today, um sources claim that Lil Key was expecting severe stomach pain in the days leading up to his death. Mm. The pain eventually landed Keed in the hospital and from there his livers and kidneys reportedly began failing. Sources informed the outlet that Keith had struggled with drugs and alcohol in the past, but that he had recently been clean and sober. Mm. Um, dang, yeah. R.I.P. Keith. Um, he's also a member of YSL, and uh, yeah, YSL going through it. Yeah, it's rough out here for him. Yeah. Um. But yeah, R.I.P. Members. Definitely. And what's crazy is uh, there was a small music festival in Charlotte this past weekend. Um, shout out Days in Blue. And Lil Key was the headliner, and he oh. passed on the day of that festival. Mm. It was just like, dang, that's just crazy. Like, dang. Yeah. Damn. That sucks. Yeah. Mm. And to piggyback off of that, um, Chicago rapper billionaire Black explained why it's so hard for rappers to stop sipping lean. Uh, he says... R.P. Lil' Keith, everybody texts me saying, kick the cup, but nobody understands the pain that we go through with young black men on the come up. All the weight that we carry on our shoulders, all the people that depend on us, all the times we felt like we fail at everything we do and all the bullshit we've been through since kids. So we don't know nothing but the cup. That's the only way to escape reality. Reality. This going to sound crazy, but no. <laughs> I mean... The reason you can't kick the cup is because it's liquid heroin. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. You can't I, kick the cup because you addicted. <laughs> Not because, I mean, sure, you might have started drinking it in the first place because you had, like, trauma and shit you was trying to deal with. But even if you saw, even if you worked just, like, through the trauma and you get past that, you're still addicted to heroin. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So. Someone said in the comments, um, coming from a third, third, a third world country. Um, where it's almost no hope. There's no such thing as a middle class. Only the lower and upper class, where monthly income is barely a hundred dollars. All that, all that shit he said is an excuse to not quit. Quit making excuses Thanks. and realize that you're an addict. It's it ain't hard to kick the cup either. I kicked it after a four year addiction. Send the dude to a third third world country and have him learn what a real struggle is. Mm-hmm. Facts. Smoke weed or go to therapy. Facts. <laughs> Facts. Find God. Facts. Am I? Y'all can do coke. Whoa. Facts. <laughs> Better for you than lean. Um, drugs are not the answer. <laughs> this is how some people cope is with drugs. Everybody is different. Well, that's um, the thing. That's you can't the escape this shit, so you just gotta deal with it and go with life. Pray pray that God will get you through the day. And the mm, fact that man. you even woke up this morning. Ooh, man, man. Oh man. I mean, yeah, blaming your like blaming the shit you've been through. Yeah, like using on. using what you've been through in life is an excuse to be a heroin addict. Yeah, it's like who hasn't it's been like, through something, bro? Like, everybody, life is hard, bro. This somebody going through something right now. <laughs> that's why people out here committing suicide. This shit is not easy. Yeah, it can, it can be, look easy. It's hard to be alive. Yes, <laughs> it can definitely look easy. Hey. That's um, why I said people do not want to face reality. No, no, they don't. So they go and drink some lean and get but high. Yeah, man. Prayer, prayers up to Lil Keith. Yes, R.I.P. Lil Keith. Um, prayer to the family for that. And yeah, I do hate that though. That's real sad. Yeah, that sucks. Cause Key was uh, seen right that, die, man. that was actually the first big artist who let me shoot their show. Yeah. Where it was like I shot my shot and was like, Hey, I see you coming to Charlotte. Can I shoot the show? I'm not expecting anything. And it was like, Yeah, sure, pull up. Tell me what's your name. Told him my name. All right, this should be immediate pass. Thanks. Boom. I pulled up. Hoping this ain't no lie. Say my name. Yeah, you good. Sweet. That was the first artist who let me do that. Let's so, do yeah. Keith holds a special place in my career. He believed in the kid. I appreciate that. Shout out to little Keith. Yeah. Pray, yeah. Pray, to the, pray to the family, man. Facts. Like they say, you get more when you just ask. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm like, shoot, the, the worst thing you can do is leave me on scene or just not open it all. <laughs> I'm a. I feel like so we've been doing this for a year. Yes, but I and I feel like we've talked about <laughs> so many rappers dying. Mm-hmm. Yes, from like I feel like we've had a lot DMX, of R.I.P. episodes. Yes, from DMX, the key to Dolph. Dolph. Oh damn. Uh-huh. Dang. Man. R.I.P. Dolph. That one. That one hurt. That one. That one hurt. Like dang. Uh, God, Dolph. But um, Betty White, and, and, and Betty White. Oh yeah, she ain't a rapper, yeah. but you know <laughs> <laughs> R.I.P. Betty. <laughs> I'm just thinking about deaths this year. It's like damn. Yeah. Um. Oh, oh, Drake on a ruler. A, yeah, I was yeah. say it's been a lot of rappers and that, that was a crazy, didn't that have big crazy. names. Dolph, Lil Lil What's the rapper that um they they put the body in the club? Oh, Guno. Yeah. I ain't R.I.P. Guno. Damn, we didn't say like six. Dang, I'll be good at it. When did we start doing this? 2021? Two, yeah. Tomorrow, like February. No, 20. No, 2021. 2021. 2021. I ain't been here that damn long. <laughs> 2021. But uh, yeah, our, yeah, it's it's a lot of rappers, definitely. Um, AT Vino from South Carolina. Yeah, see, it's the rappers that really weren't famous. Dang. Famous. That's crazy. Yeah. And that sucks. I don't know, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. R.I.P. And a lot of rappers getting locked up. Yeah. My dog. Dang. Yeah, they, they don't like their freedom. I can't do that. <laughs> yeah, a lot of them get locked up. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. Mm-mm. It ain't too much I can do out here, but damn, you go there, you can't do nothing. Yeah. Shoot, 42 Doug, he locked up. Uh, a picture of him just uh, uh, showed up. Push Icy, Gunner. Thug. <laughs> <laughs> like, didn't I just say that? Uh, Who yeah. else is locked up? There's a bunch of rappers locked up. Yeah. Anyway. Too many to name. Right. Too many to name. Which is sad. Um, fans are asking Rich Homie Quan to release new music now that Half Atlanta is locked up. Uh, someone says, <laughs> Rich Homie Quan, get in the booth and make this comeback. Everybody finna get locked up. It's your time. He comments and say, we was dropping before any of this went down. This shit on the way. Stay tuned. I appreciate all my fans. That is, <laughs> that is such a, like, like, it's like, an insult. Right thanks, but. He right, though. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's right. This is the perfect time <laughs> to drop something crazy. That like such an insult. Yeah, it is. Just like. Hey, I appreciate hey, hey. it, but dang, you had to say it like that. No, it sucks because it's like the we acknowledge his greatness. Is, right, yeah. The only reason you making the comeback is because everybody locked up. Yes. Right. It's, it's like, like we know you it's good. It's like, dang, but... we ain't got the, we ain't got gonna. Oh, we still got Rich Homie Quan, bring him back. <laughs> it's like, Rich Homie, where excuse me? <laughs> I've been dropping. Well, we'll go crazy now. <laughs> it's like, dang. Well, he got to drop something now. crazy. Yeah, he need to drop a crazy visual. He need, what he needs to do is drop a crazy <laughs> song. always been hard, though. Drop a crazy song and do a video with Kobe. That would be so unexpected. That would be unexpected. Rich Homie Quan and think, Cole? You think Rich Homie Quan can get a Cole Bennett music video? I feel like Cole would kind of do think it it'll just be, off the yeah, strength. I think it'll be more Cole like, you know what? Let's do it. I feel like it'll be one of those. He just did one with Baby Tron. Do you know who Baby Tron is? Yeah, Detroit guy? Yeah. He just did a video with Baby he Tron. He got that crazy song where he rap on like 15 beats. I think that's the video they did too. Oh, for real? Yeah. It just dropped like yesterday. Bro, he got, nah, it ain't, it ain't that one then. Because I got... Oh, you already got a video for it? Oh, well, apparently yeah. he got some song that where he like switches the beat hella in. It's, it's I don't know. Song, maybe that's man. just his style, but I know Baby Tron's got one song where like the beat changes every four bars. That's crazy. And it's like a three minute song. That's crazy. But yeah, he Rich Homie like Quan. Do you think Rich Homie could uh, make a. Another hit? <laughs> yeah. No, I, yeah. I guess comeback. Easy. Yeah, easy. Yeah. He's going to have to. I think they blackballed him. I don't know for what. I don't know why, but he always had well, a he good was sound. making he really radio s- hits. He, he really wasn't making started this whole shit. Yeah, high key. Like, but it's his sound that they running with. This is a dope song. I like this song. Daily Breed by Rich Honey Corn. But um, yeah, I think he can make another hit. Uh. Mm. And shout out to him still working, bro. Like a lot of rappers who kind of like fall off like this, they Never just gave up. yeah, it's just like man, it was, was a good run. Yeah, 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 let's use that bread and get well, a truck business listens. or something. But yeah, but 
You know, Rich Homie's still doing his thing. How many views we got on this? Because they tried to do K Camp. Oh, yeah. How they doing him? 3.4 million. And it dropped in April? Okay. We'll take that. Yeah, I mean, he's still yeah, getting paid. Yeah, we'll take that. Rich yeah, we'll take Kwan that. probably still getting paid for shows. Yeah, definitely. They buy his style and ran with it. Oh, God. Yeah. It'll be nice that to see is. Rich Homie do. I mean, a lot of people f- kind of feel how they feel like with Fetty Wap, Rich Homie Kwan just kind of like, you know, we want to see you back up there. Yeah. Um, do you think Fetty can? No. No? He so, only made radio hits. See, that was the difference between Rich Homie Kwan is like, Rich Homie Kwan has songs where it's not like a radio hit. Yeah. Like, he talking about some real shit. Or Fetty. Fetty, Fetty kind of just goes strictly for the radio hit. Okay. Fair. And if you don't make a good radio hit, then we don't care. Yeah, literally. Like Fetty, well, Fetty, but they both had the same issue. Neither one of them really ever built like core fan bases. They don't have a group of people that buys their music no matter what. Yes, correct. They never built that fan base. The older generation still fool with Rich Homie Kwan. Yes. Yeah. But. Yeah. But like you know, out here checking out for there, the Rich yeah. Homie Kwan. Well, I mean, if you music. if you like them, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm saying, personally not, not but people. I wouldn't be opposed if I saw like Rich Homie Kwan like just pop up my journal. Like, let's see what he, let's see what he's talking about. Yeah, no, I'm like, talking, talking about like if if uh, if he has older, I'm sure he has older fans. Like his fans are probably like thirty and up. Yeah, yeah, I would agree. They're some of them are tech savvy to look for him, so they they do. Yeah, look for him, but I don't think it's as massive as it is our age kids. group. Yeah. yeah, he ain't got the kids. No, because I'm wondering if he came back. Is. I'm wondering what kind of song what, he gonna what, come on. What like. year did some type of way come out? But that's like 2011, 12, 14, 14? 13. Nah, oh, no, I, I just saw the music video. Before before that. That. Type of way, eight years ago. Uh, 14, 13, or 13. Yeah, 13. Yeah, Man, that was a good year. Yeah, it was. Um, dang. Yeah, rich homie. We hope we hope that you. Just continue doing what you're doing. Yeah, just keep working. Yeah, just basically right. to summarize it up. Just keep working, and whatever okay. whatever you want in this, you'll be all right. make good you'll music. Get to keep it. working, you'll be alright. Don't do no hoe shit. You'll be alright. Yes, just don't do no hoe shit, and you will be fine. You'll be okay. Oh lord. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's an old ass. It's hey, it did start kind of crazy. It did start crazy. Draw. Um, Harlow, we got Harlow. He does 110k first week. What are we thinking, gang? That's rough because they was projecting like a 185. They was indeed. Um, but that's also not too bad because he's doing better than I mean, established people. artists. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, it's not too bad. Oh, but no. but they yeah. were putting Jack like, this okay. could be like album of the year. This could, this could, you know, XYZ, yeah. XYZ is kind of yeah. like. Not a know. bad album, but it ain't. Yeah. Um, I don't know about album of the year. I still stand by album. that, though. Not a bad album. No, it's not a bad album. That ain't nothing spectacular. Yes. It didn't, you know, wow me. Or it's not a two point nine. That's not that's all I'll just say to that. No, bro, Pitchfork is irrelevant. <laughs> yeah, speaking Moving of Pitchfork, forward, they gave Kendrick a um seven point five. Seven point five. Mm. Irrelevant. And let's not forget, Big Day got a six point nine. Irrelevant. Let's just not forget. Pitchfork that. is irrelevant. They're an industry construct, right? Like, fuck it. Mm. They give they give ratings to people that they like. That's it. It's um, Matthew, whatever. <laughs> well, who's the dude? What's the dude that wrote the Big Day? No, he wrote the Jack Harlow Pitchfork. Matthew Strauss. That's him. Oh, you remember his name? It's the, right, it's that guy. <laughs> yeah, that's him. Do we give a fuck about his opinion? No. I don't, I don't give a fuck about math about Matthew Strauss's opinion. No. No. <laughs> no. And I'm sure Jack Harlow don't. No. <laughs> We got uh, YSL artist Yak Gotti is reportedly being investigated for standing on wife and Lucci's car at Lennox Mall back in 2020. He <laughs> later used the picture for an album cover. <laughs> oh, please pull this up. Damn. Dog. Uh, That's rough, man. Uh, they locking people up for anything. <laughs> dang. They trying to get as many people in this Rico charge as they can. Dang. That sucks. For standing on the car? Standing on the whip. He might not even be homies with them. Destruction. Oh, property. he's a wise artist. Yeah, guy. he might. That's not even a good picture. <laughs> that wasn't even a good. Wait album for the cover. album cover. Yeah. No, nah, no, nah, the album cover is actually. I think I saw this already. The album cover actually looked kind of hard. Oh, hold on. Let me pull it up. I want to pull up the album cover. But it did look like some shit you could make at home on like one of them photo editing websites. Man, that could have been anybody's car. 
Man, you only got one album. It's called Gotti Out of Here. <laughs> What's this freaking album cover? Let's create Gotti Out of Here. That was good. Jeez, I was trying to see this album cover. They like, probably took it off because of the Rico Torches. That's, that's <laughs> smart. That's crazy. What album cover? Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, cheeks! <laughs> you found it. I'm assuming it's the one where it's like it's like orange or something red. Or something Wait, like hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, it won't let me zoom in, but hold on, hold on. Just put it on the screen. Yeah, I got, it, I got, it, I got it. Cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> That's so lazy. Cheeks. I told you. in the coop. He ain't even in it. <laughs> <laughs> on top the coop. <laughs> Jeez. He deserves to be. Yeah, <laughs> you know oh, what? Yeah, yeah. Nah, nah, we ain't watching that. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, like you know, I want to know why you did it. Yeah, it nobody else. You couldn't, couldn't call Shell. <laughs> <laughs> Could hear Johnny. Hey, I like that pig game. Bruce, we mm-hmm. might as well use that for the cover, shouldn't we? Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. I, I got one of my homeboys who uh, who make cover. Uh uh-uh. uh you do it for ten dollars. Shut. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be lying to these people. That's crazy. Um, dang. Here's a better picture of that. Cover. That shit was whack. <laughs> that Wait, is oh, that crazy. Like that. That's just lazy. That's crazy. <laughs> in right. the coop. I could have. Yeah, I didn't he... even notice that he had more coops. Yes, in the back. they all there. <laughs> I could have made that cover. That's crazy. Um, dang. Wow. <laughs> that was. Crazy. That's crazy. I needed that. Wow. Yeah, that was funny. Jesus That's just like Christ. the uh, Travis Scott joint. Uh, <laughs> Still in that pain. <laughs> Talk about so I do not see nothing related to it. It's like bro, it's the, the picture, bro. bro. <laughs> literally, you added one tree. <laughs> Don't look the same to me, bro. Just give that These man the money, bro. Are stupid. That's crazy. Um, that's pretty much up for rap news. Oh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what we gonna talk about? Um, need the outro for it. Uh, and thanks for tuning in. Last minute podcast. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, I, s- got a top. I saw a crazy take on uh, Twitter. It was about the baby, <laughs> and they said, um, oh, yeah. they said, um. So he dropped a he dropped a song in the video with yep. Money Bag Yo called Wig. Yeah. And did you listen to that? Yes, I am. It's hard. Yes, it is. And the video is harder. Um, but he dropped, yeah, he dropped the track with Money Bag Yo. And apparently, the baby is used to seeing like mil- millions of views in like hours. And for this video, That's right. he got a million in four days. And apparently, that is just God right awful. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hell, you can say you got a, first of all, you can say you got a million views. I, I can't say that. You know what I'm saying? But and the person that's saying that can't say that. Yeah, exactly. It's just like, okay, you didn't get in four hours, so you got in four days. I mean, okay. And they're just like, the baby done fell off. The baby's music sounding the same. I'm like, bro, y'all been saying that since he was baby since, Jesus. Yeah, oh, God. And it's cool because they shot this in Charlotte. And um, when it didn't sound the same, I was like, we don't like his flow. Yeah, we don't like him saying it. We, we don't, don't want to like hear his him. Flow. It's just like, what do y'all want from the, what do y'all want from the baby? What do y'all want? They want him to lay down. What do y'all want? I want to lay down and just be lame. Right. That's crazy. Um, but, uh, no, nah, song hard, video hard. Yeah. He's back with real goats, which is hard. Yeah, that's good. Try Rico. Um, Jim and I definitely held it down uh, when shooting his videos with, uh, whenever <laughs> he wasn't shooting with real goats. Shout out Jim and I. Um, dang. But, uh, also, did you see what the doctor said about the Megan and Tory no. controversy? I owe Tory Lanez a sincere apology. Because no I was way. dragging this man. And the doctor has confirmed that she stepped on glass. She was not Is shot. Is this confirmed? Confirmed. She was not shot. Is this like today? It's like maybe two days ago. Um, I first of all, I'm over it. But second of all, I don't. I'm not gonna believe that until the court case really so, gets started. And sincere, it ain't started. Sincere apology to Tory Lanez. As of now, 
Because I was dragging you. You was and you dragging him? And you ain't do nothing, bro. You was dragging him, bro. you ain't do nothing, bro. So, sorry, Tory Lane. Not that you gave a fuck what I got to say, but... <laughs> but. I know on social media, people are just saying it's real crazy how, like, Megan is saying all this and, and saying what happened, blah, 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 and you're automatically taking her side and you have yet to hear Tory's side. Or if he does say something, you don't care. Yeah. Because Megan's right. Well... All for it. I mean, it's just like the fact... Bro, the headline was bad, bro. Tory Lane shoots. Oh, yeah. Style. Yeah. In like, foot. Like, bro. <laughs> it what? says, like, get the, what, what do you say? Get the dancing or something? What do you say? Yeah. Dance, says, bitch. Dance, bitch. Like, yeah. what? Yeah, yeah. Nah, that's crazy. But sorry, Tory Lane's drug, drug your name. I added Broken oh. a Minute back to my playlist. Uh-huh. Sorry, Tory Lane. Well, Tory Lane's and Tanner have officially made back up. <laughs> <laughs> I call you tomorrow, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we need that feature, but um, no cap. <laughs> <laughs> what was playing? Um, yeah, Man, that, that's I mean, I ain't really. Tina's so over that case and just yeah I talking agree. about it. She don't care. Didn't he drop two songs? I don't. Juke gonna come out. He dropped wig and he dropped. Oh, you talking about baby? Oh yeah, yeah. and one with uh, Pooh Shiesty, do rag I think. Yeah, do rag. Oh, that's yeah. dope because. She's from Charlotte. She mm-hmm. graduated from John C. Smith. John C. Smith. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Like, oh, like, that's real Charlotte. So, it must be, like, Charlotte women, too. That's cool if it is. Gotta be. Ooh, that's dope. You all right. Right. Good they was like, out. yeah, if you go use that, you got yeah. yeah. to put yeah. my yeah. wigs. Yeah. 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 yeah, you yeah. had to put the Addy on. Tell them, pull up a song. my wigs. Yeah, tell them, pull up a song. I going crazy. Boy, what? This the uh the baby special wig right here. Shout out to baby, man. He never forgets about Charlotte. Facts. Never. You know. Charlotte. Charlotte has cool places to go, like, shoot yeah, at. Yeah. Plus, like, it's, I don't know, it's good to see because a lot of artists, like, there's some famous artists right now where I have no fucking idea where they from. Yeah. 100%. Like, where are you from, bro? 100%. Like, Billie Eilish. Where the fuck is Billie Eilish from? Anybody know? I don't know how she could sing a song about where she from. <laughs> Me neither, but. Tanner just bouncing off the Baby Tron, 21 different beats and 21 different locations. Oh wow! Ridiculous. That's real creative. I gotta, we gotta peep this out the pot. Um, that's ridiculous. That's fire. Oh, shot on iPhone. Uh, Dang. I do want. I, I always want to do a shot like that. I always want to do a shot like in traffic like this, and you just hop out and like let's do a whole scene. No, that's easy. Just get on eighty five, five o'clock, and everything. <laughs> pretty much. Easy. <laughs> pretty None. much. Um, Line it up. <laughs> no, wait. Let it be an accident. <laughs> oh, we should with two videos. Boy, we might want well to do an interview. Boy, what? You sit on the hood. <laughs> we ain't going nowhere. We ain't going nowhere. Um, as far as subjects, I mean, besides that, we kind of covered everything as of right now. Slow, slow week. Yeah, it is. Plus, a slow we didn't talk about bro. We did. Uh, Conversation. Yeah, we, we, we don't see each other too much. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't even want to talk to y'all no more. <laughs> oh, wait. I will say, after some more lists, what is now your favorite? Um, okay, cool. cool. Oh, okay. Kendrick Lamar song. Father Time. And where would you rank his albums now? Father Time. I'm putting this one third. Hmm. I can't answer that question. Uh, the albums, but what I do put this. My Have you started diving no, into Kendrick? He's finishing yeah. I'm finishing Kodak this oh, week. Okay. Yeah. Um, start. I gotta week. start coding. Yes. Um, favorite song. Probably Purple Hearts. I really like Purple Hearts. I play that like over and over and over, pretty much. I think. Especially uh, I like Summer Walker's part. That was nice to hear. Yeah, she went like, crazy. Yeah, that was like real nice. But yeah, I'd say that. I got three. Okay. <laughs> What's your favorite? What's your favorite song? I got three. Well, I have three. Well, you said... And <laughs> y'all could have said y'all three. Um, <laughs> I'm going to say Rich Spirit is at the top right now. That second then, verse. That second verse is crazy. <laughs> no, and brother. then Silent Hill. And okay. then Count Me Out still. Silent Hill is... Silent Hill is dope. I call that went crazy. Silent Hill is dope. That one line is just still just... Silent Hill is dope. Like, what a flex. Yeah, the chorus is fire. Yeah, it's fire. Um, um, I'm going to go with Silent Hill. I'm going to say 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 Silent Hill. 
Yeah, I got good kids. I got a good kid, Mad City, and Tupac Butterfly above it. Mm. I got I got Mr. Moran and the Big Savers above Damn. Mm. I'm a I'm a I'm a listen to Mr. Moran and the Big Savers more than I'm a listen to Damn. Mm. See, I think Damn has great play value. It does, but it's not the Kendrick I want to hear. Hmm. That's I have not heard that take on that. Let me ask this: <clears throat> uh, What song do you think is going to go the craziest on tour of this album? Silent Hill. Silent Hill? Yeah, that Silent chorus. Silent Hill or, World, or uh, Worldwide Steppers? Just because that beat is ridiculous. You said crazy? Yeah, uh, more the most exciting performance. Maybe N95, because that I, video is dumb. I feel like that's going to be the most, like, that's your mm-hmm. Snapchat video song. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, Before but, we go to a concert together, y'all don't film y'all's concerts, do you? Y'all don't be, y'all don't be like this, do you? Not the whole time. Okay. Nah, I, I might get, get, I get my clip. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right. I get my clip. I I remember I went to. That's ooh, like my who did I see? Because you gotta I, enjoy it. It was uh, when I went to the uh, Earl and Action Bronson show in Atlanta. Yeah. That was this girl who recorded the entire mm. show. Bro, when we went from to the- action to performing to Alchemist DJ set to Bodie James. To Earl Sweatshirt. <laughs> yeah, like the phone stayed. That's like a three um, hour show. It was about a three hour show. And I was like, one, your phone didn't die. That's crazy. What Two, kind of what kind of storage got? do you have? And three, Jesus, are you just gonna go back? Hmm, let me go watch it. What's his name <laughs> sent one more time? You know what I'm saying? That's where I was know. like, I just kept looking. I was like, oh, maybe you're still on, recording this. Maybe she was on FaceTime. No, bro. It was it was her iPhone camera. More than that. And I was like, what, what, what kind got, of battery do you have? What storage? Ass on. Yes, just the whole time. Neck hurt. I was like, <laughs> dang. Neck hurt. Your arm. <laughs> I hate that, bro. But I'm not like a. I hate people that live their life through their phone. Yeah. Like, I get oh, my I'm clip and I try to. I'll watch it through my phone while I record it. <laughs> right. <laughs> bro, what? Then you're not even going to go look. You're going to post it on Snapchat and Instagram right. one day. Stupid. And then that's, that's, that's about it. But um, <laughs> to each his own. To each yeah, his own. whatever. Do you? But I do think I think the craziest performance is either going to be N95 or um, what's the name? Silent Hill, mostly for the chorus. That's going to go like really crazy. Yeah, it's going to go dumb. Yeah, they're going to go real crazy for that. Um, I'm trying to think what else is like an up tempo. I wonder how you're going to do We Cry Together, or if he's even going to perform that. I'm mm. assuming he's gonna do Mother I Sober because what's his name on tour with him? Uh, King. No. Oh uh, no. Oh my bad. Tana. Um, Tana what is it? Tana Leon. Oh, I thought she. No, was that's on Beth Gibbons. Beth, Beth Gibbons is on Mother I Sober. Oh, who? What song is she Tana on? Um, Die Hard. I believe. Yeah, Amanda Reefer. Oh. Amanda Reefer's on Die Hard with Blast and Mr. Morale. Sorry. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah, Miss yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That, I don't know who that is though, so maybe I need to do some research. Yeah, if you're good enough to be on Kendrick's album. You're probably good enough to be on a playlist. So pretty much. Um, y'all good? I'm excited to see Baby King. Oh, I am too. Yes. I'm still mad we did not go to his uh his tour for um what's his name? I feel uh, like Melodic Blue. Yes. Everybody kind of just like. Took it for granted, or just like I hear it, I see it, but mm. and ticket and could tell me tickets was thirty bucks. Yeah, because I was gonna go, and then I don't know why yeah, I didn't go. That. I don't know why I just I just didn't. I don't be checking for concerts like that, so like I normally don't know who's coming. I haven't seen it, but I so just I know you be checking for concerts. So if somebody's dope is coming to Charlotte, but yeah, they don't usually come to Charlotte. <laughs> they that too, they, yeah, like what that too, Charlotte, North Carolina in general. Yes, correct. They if, be skipping North Carolina on a lot of tours. I wonder if most it seems like most artists go to Raleigh before anything. You would think it's Charlotte, because the main three cities that you're gonna go on tour in Char- I mean in North Carolina is Raleigh, Charlotte, and Asheville. Those are like the the three cities. Why that, would you not pick Charlotte? Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. It's like out of all those cities, I would I would pick Charlotte. First of all, Raleigh is trash. That and it's just not the city. Yeah, I'm not a fan of Raleigh at and all. And then Asheville, that's just. In but, the they to, but they go to Raleigh because the colleges. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, it's just gonna bring then, more people like, out. College students are more likely to go to concerts. Just, just. But just like it's Charlotte. It's college like, kids ain't got shit to do. 
it's like throwing a show in like college, like College Hill in Georgia instead of Atlanta. It's yeah. just like, why would you not go to Atlanta? Yeah. You know I don't know. Saying? But yeah, go to come to Charlotte. Quit going to Raleigh. Yeah, it's quick. Going to Raleigh. And come to Charlotte why on they Saturday. Don't, <laughs> why they don't come to Charlotte? Well, when it comes to venues, um, what I learned was so basically, okay, I'm going on tour. You know, y- y'all you own Charlotte, you own Raleigh. Yeah, okay, so I'm going on tour. This is how much it costs. If you want me to come, let me know. By two more days. You think I'm taxing. I'm just not rocking with it. You think I'm good. Okay, we'll get them. I get booked for that one instead of you. Damn, so the city of Charlotte got to pay for? It's 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 the film or, or That's where like the whole back end thing, mm-hmm. like that's where that comes in. It's like, okay, well, I want to go ahead and get paid half right now for, for to secure the spot. And then, that's fair. you know, the day of or after the show, whatever, you give me the rest. But essentially it's, Cause I mean, it, it was cool. It, it was like 2017, or whatever, and it was a list of people that were about to go on tour. I remember it was like Future, it was like Fetty Wap, it was like Lil Pump or whatever. And it's like nobody knew, but I saw this list. I'm like, oh wow, like you already know. They're like, yeah, I just don't think what's his name is worth, you know, 500k. So we ain't gonna get him. Hmm. And he wasn't on that tour. You know, whoever it was, I forgot. But like he wasn't. He, you know, he didn't come to Charlotte. Then that's where the whole comments. Well, why you didn't come to Charlotte? You know, wow, you're not going to Charlotte. Because the venue they, owners don't think you're worth it. We don't think hey. you're worth it. Or, I mean, or we just don't want to, you know, we just don't want to pay you that. Obviously, that's crazy if they don't think you're worth it. Because it's like... But so, like, for example, pay. Jack Harlow, this is this is first story that he's not coming to Charlotte. Mm. So now I wonder, like, hmm. How much are you charging? I wonder might, what yeah, happened. Because yeah, he, he always coming to Charlotte. He's probably charging a crazy price. Yeah, and it was like, you know, not, I, I can't say every time it's it's like that. That's the thing is like... I don't think you're worth this price, you know, but essentially. Or maybe he didn't have a good experience in Charlotte. Isn't it? Yeah. But Charlotte, dude, they, we be shooting at rappers. <laughs> rappers get shot at when they come to Charlotte. <clears throat> yeah. Especially when CIAA was in Charlotte. Ooh. Facts. That is very true. CIAA was. CIAA used to get it cracking. Yes. It did get it cracking. Um, But yeah. So. I don't know who's on tour now. That's exciting. Uh, yeah, you Kendrick, got Kendrick about to push come. Yes, yeah, so push a T. Her. Um, when is that, by the way? Oh, uh, June twenty third. Third, same week as Pusha. Yeah. Yes, it's like the day after Pusha. I think. Damn, that's gonna be rough. Or like, it's that Thursday. Oh, so I think Pusha on Wednesday. weekdays. Yeah. Yes, these are all weekdays. Pusha T and her. hers may not be bad, but we bought her tickets twenty five. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know if I could pass up a her show for twenty five dollars. I'm literally going just because it's twenty five. Yeah, I'm like, I don't even really listen to her. But I'm just like, fuck it, it's a show. I might as well. Oh, everybody gonna be in there singing. It's me, my dad, C, Brooke. <laughs> like, yeah, we're literally going because it's twenty five dollars. Yeah, I might have to slide. We're just like, why not? It's something it's to on do. A Thursday. Ooh, that's gonna make Friday rough. Just <sighs> ask go. I can't. I'm going to Vegas and I'm going to the beach. Ah, it's over with. No more it's asking off hook. I don't want to do any more album reviews. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be Tannerless. <laughs> Jay Z new album. <laughs> oh no, nah, I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what? I'm gonna go into work. Look, Tanner, y'all, y'all want to start about five o'clock? <laughs> yeah. I'm like Tanner it ain't even out. <laughs> yeah, so y'all want to start about five o'clock? <laughs> um, yeah, we can talk about it for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, I, I if that happens, we gotta have Austin on. It's only right. That's only right. He's the only. He's the only other. That's only right. He's the. He's the biggest Jay Z fan I know other than myself. Speaking of C, um, shout out. Shout out C. They got a. She just speaking of concerts too. She just said, "I just want you to see this Harry Styles story. Why is he playing at the same place eight times? He has a Madison Square Garden show August twenty eighth, September first, September second, September third, September fourth, September fifth, September seventh. Check. It's Madison Square Garden. That's insane. That's how people do. That's how people do Madison Square Garden. Yeah, it's just like dang. Jay Z. Jay Z is the first rapper to ever sell out five uh, the Madison Square Garden five nights in a row. Mm. And dang. Then J, and then J Cole did it. Dang. And then Kendrick did it. Mm. Dang. Or maybe Kendrick did it first. I don't know. But and it's what Pop did. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, you were so sick. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know, um, <laughs> I was like, 
But like, there's so many people in New York. It makes sense to go. Oh yeah. Multi- like, you know what I'm saying? It, it makes, makes sense. sense to do multiple shows in Madison Square Garden. It makes oh, sense. Well, they gonna pay. I text the hell out of New York. But what? But what? <laughs> they gonna pay? Yeah. Yeah, they, they, they gonna pay. Especially if you that type of. Artist. What you? What you gonna do? Not pay? <laughs> 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 All right, that's the hell for you. Whatever. Um, concerts are cool though. I'm excited to go to some concerts. I'm I'm still hoping. And manifesting and putting all my energy that Tyler does Camp Flog Not this year. I put all my When does he announce it? Usually it's usually it's the first two weeks of May. So we're just gonna get it. Back. <laughs> See? It's looking rough out here. We got we got a couple days left. It's looking but one rough. year, which I thought was crazy, it was twenty seventeen. He announced tickets in August, and the sh- the festival was November. Okay, yeah, I and do I was like, that. "Dang!" Like I didn't go that year, but it's just like, "Dang!" Normally, but normally he doesn't it may. Bro, so this might just, be an August year. And it makes sense because he just dropped the album. I want to go back to California. Man. I do too. That's that's my Cali trip. It's like ah, because Camp Flow is just one day, right? Two days. Two days. Saturday and Sunday. So when do you, when you go, do you just go for Camp Florida or do you like take multiple like more than just those two days? Oh yeah, like we like, you go like last week. year we went like Tuesday and when we came back on Monday night, like basically for a week. Basically a week. Yeah, like you know, you need a you need a, at least a week in California. Yes. If yes. you go to L.A., you need to be out there. For you cannot be out there for two days. Nah, two days is not enough. Well, I'm going everywhere in two days. Like, when like you sleeping. can be, you can see a lot. Really fast in LA. Yeah, like our plan this year is to go for ten days. My favorite place to go is New York, is because it's so easy to travel, bro. Still haven't been to New York, bro. It's so easy to travel. The subway might be the best thing ever invented. It seems mm-hmm. like it. It seems. Bro, like you it. can get on the subway and be anywhere in New York in twenty five minutes. That's fine. Unless there's subway issues, right. but if the subway is running like it's supposed to, bro, we got on we got on the subway at Wall Street, which is like right. the bottom of Manhattan. We went all the way through Manhattan and was in like like 170 something or something like that. I think it's in Harlem. It's near Columbia University. Yeah. In mm. like 20 minutes. Mm. Dang. And it was like three in the morning. Dang. That's probably lit out there too. I thought it was probably Zoom. Boy, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> but it's lit though, cause like if you go, especially for like tourists, cause like they got like a pass. <laughs> it's like 40 bucks. It's unlimited rides for seven days. Oh. Oh, nice. That's not That's bad. Steep. No, you just go out there, you pay forty dollars, you can go wherever the fuck you want. Yeah, and it's New York, so you don't have to pay to do nothing else. Yeah. All the cool shit in New York free. Right. <laughs> hey, let's walk around. Museums, all yeah. the museums and all that shit, all that shit free. Oh, well, Central yeah. Park free. What are they gonna charge you? Get in a park. Right. <laughs> Get the all fuck right, out of my face. Gonna be, uh, Thirty dollars to enter this park. Huh? This who? <laughs> Bro, the last time I went to New York was the dopest trip because it was the first time I went like as a grown like an adult. <clears throat> right. So I went up there with my college friends, dumb lit, like we was we walked home at like four in the morning, drunk as hell. It was snowing. We went sledding in Central Park <laughs> with these little kids that was out there wilding like four in the morning. Oh, that sounds lit, bro. See, that's, that's but see, that's like true. New York, you can just like get into something. Yes, yeah. Mm. Like it's like you just walk around and you just find something to do. Yeah, that's why I like New York so much because you don't have to have any plans. You just get up and start walking. Mm. And, and I and promise see, you gonna find something to do. Yeah. See, I I fuck with that type of like li- like lifestyle. Yeah. Just like ah, uh, we ain't doing nothing. Let's let's go downtown. Yeah. And I know we're gonna have a, like a great time. Yeah. That's why like like when we all get dumb rich, let's move to New York. Cause that seems like a dope place to live if you're rich and out and don't have any responsibilities. Cause you can just wake up every day and go walk around. New York could be and dope. Go find something to do. New York could be dope. I want you to video in New York. Bruh, let's like, go to New York. Really want you to be on New York. Fuck a beast. What's trip. the name? Let's go to New York. Inspire me. The, the coolest New York videos. Well, I ain't gonna say the coolest, but Ski Mask, Catch Me Outside, that and video's Chance cool. the Rapper, uh, Juice. Yeah, yeah. Like those are like just cool Bro, let's New, go to New York, York videos. Bro, you can be in New York in ten hours if you drive. And Joey Badass. Uh, is it Waves? We're just walking around. Yeah. In Brooklyn. Yeah. 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 Like that's just cool. Yeah. It's just cool. Um. Let's go to New York, bro. You can be there in ten hours. My um, my so, dad and his sisters used to drive to New York every summer and stay the whole summer. I'm like, that's dope. Dang. Stay the whole summer. Oh, I, I got, yeah, there? I got family in Brooklyn, and uh, I what don't, do I don't, I don't, know? I don't know them. Oh, yeah, it's it's that side of family. I, was like, I don't hey, know them. I but, you, so you got family in Brooklyn? You just, you <laughs> <want to tell laughs> but yeah, they used to go like 
right after college, and they stay until it's time to go back to college. Right, New York like, is four lit. summers in a row. I'm like that's dope. New York is lit. They ain't had no job. I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I think they worked in New York. Like they lived there. Like this our this our home for like three months. New York. Oh is, yeah, that's dope. Yeah, like that's dope. No, I would lit, work at school, save up money, so I ain't had to do right, it. Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like New York ah. is lit, bro. Yeah, that's Have dope. Have you been in New York? Mm-mm. I we got family. To go to I was supposed to go in twenty twenty and then COVID happened. We need to go to New York. Yeah, I do want to go to New York. New York is a place that every person in the United States should go at least once in life. That's kind of how I feel about Cali. Well, yeah. LA. It's just like LA though. Like yeah. you get out there and you as soon as you get there, you like this some shit I ain't never seen before. Oh yeah. Yes. LA, I was like, bro, this is life. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Y'all do this what? every day? Dang. Yeah. Like, Gorgeous. Like this you get out living. there and you see some shit you ain't never seen before. And now I'm just like, huh, I don't know what they don't make on. But you for sure <laughs> oh, if you live in, if you if you like dealing with the nightlife in New York, you for sure are gonna have some hilarious encounters with homeless people. Oh yeah. Hundred percent, I can. Yeah, I, but they not like L.A. homeless people. Yeah, I feel like hey, L.A. LA homeless. I feel like L.A. Hey, homeless is a really hey. sad story. It's like y'all came out here to not saying every homeless man's like that was like yeah. y'all came out here to make it big and it's just like crashed real hard. Yeah, <laughs> like scared. But like L.A. homeless people are like aggressive. Yeah, New York. Fuck y'all. Yeah. It's like what? Well, damn. New York homeless people be like, what's up, bro? Yeah. Hmm? Hey, how? A homeless dude on the subway gave me a beer. Oh wow, that's that's love. And I was like, "Thanks." What'd you do to this? Right? Because <laughs> why this are you giving so me willing this? this? Why are you so willing to get this to me? And it turned out he was just a cool, dude. That's crazy. Let's end this. We're at an hour. Um, right, <laughs> what's this episode? We're wrap it up. Thank you for tuning in to the Last Minute Podcast. Um, make sure you follow Big Tina at Insurey We Trust. Make sure you follow Tanner at Pedal Play Records. Make sure you follow me at Zbo.g and the Zbo page Zbo NC. Make sure you follow our TikTok at the Last Minute Podcast. Uh, daily clips are posted on there. Make sure you follow. Make sure you do um, you tune in to Zbo's Boombox on Spotify, Apple Music. Go find your next favorite NC artist. We also have Cherie on there. Um, number one spot. So make sure you go listen to Love Me Knots and YG Apollo um, out of a center as well. Yep. And um Hit it again. <laughs> and yeah. Uh Shout out to Green continue Green. supporting. Make sure you go watch our Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers album review and uh conversation and keep supporting last minute podcast. We appreciate it. Like and subscribe. Last words. Great. <laughs> I did Yo, not see that, that coming. Oh. Yeah, I did not see that coming. <laughs> um, Slaw. <laughs> that was we nice. Out. That we was out. nice. I, I don't Thank even you. have none. We out. <laughs> but just know, Zebo is where it's at. Oh, Zebo TV, North Carolina. Yeah. yeah. yeah.